Join us at Walgett, New South Wales for free camping, free ball baths, free advice and a lot more. Day breaks and I'm burned by the morning light I make the same mistake more than twice Same song but brand new dance I wear out my third second chance Good one. So, Walgett, New South Wales is Aboriginal meaning. You keep snapping sticks in the background. Oh. I'm recording, you keep snapping sticks in the background. Oh, you can hear it? Yeah. So, very windy out here. Yeah, I know, that's why I'm not. What's the naming? Is this door closed? I just want you to stop. Well, it doesn't make any difference because it's coming through the window. Right. Okay. Go away from the door. Sorry? Go away from the door. Oh, <sighs> it is so windy at the moment. So I can't do recording outside. So our solar blanket's blown over, Gil's just, the, the outdoor chair's just blown over. So definitely a no-no for outside for us today. Anyway, that's part of camping. Uh, Walgett, New South Wales. So the meaning of Walgett, it's got an Aboriginal meaning, which means meeting of two waters. Uh, as the town is located in the junction of the Namole and Bar and Rivers. Now, if I've said that wrong, N A M O L, the Namol and Bar and Rivers. Uh, we stayed at the Alex Trevelyan Park. It's a 48 hour stay there. It is no cost. There is free dump point, portable water, toilets, bins, uh, covered seating, and barbecue facilities. We um, found that you could be quite close to somebody else, depending on how many people are there but again it is right near the road so you do get a little bit of traffic noise but jeepers for 48 hours you can stay no cost you can't complain about it there's a beautiful little um, pond there was a couple of geese there that really liked Gil and were telling him off for coming too close to them but other than that it was a nice place to walk around nice and flat um, so we enjoyed staying there. Here we are in Walgett at the old boar baths. Next door is a swimming pool complex which is being renovated, upgraded at the moment. So now it's closed. Do you want to go in? Oh, yeah, the that's what I came for. Childproof gates around there. That's why I couldn't get out. All children <laughs> must be supervised by a responsible adult, so I'll supervise you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna watch you going first. Uh, take your phone out of my pocket. Definitely. And keys. And keys. What, what? How warm is it? 41 degrees. Does it feel warm? It feels hot. Hot. Alright. Oh, that is with my feet on the bottom and it feels like I want to float. I think I can touch the bottom. Really? No, I can't touch the bottom. Oh, the tippy toe. Look, that's me tippy toeing. No, there's a seat. There's a seat Look, near it. I'm on my tippy toes. A seat near a seat over there. Oh, there's a good thing to see. absolutely love the boar bass at Walgett. We were so lucky the whole time that we were in the boar bass, no one else came in. So we had them all to ourselves. Tip number one, don't always go on what other people say. We thought the boar bass were closed as we we're told by a few people that they were. So we weren't gonna go. But check these things out for yourself. As it turned out, they were open, but the pools were closed because they were under renovations and the pools were right next door to the boar bass. We are going to make white bread today. Now I have, these are the tins we used to use. This is one of our tins from our work. So that's, was from our work. So it's old. We now use them just to store 
potatoes and onions in it, but we bought a new tin. Now, as you can see, it's a lot bigger. We used to put 750 grams of dough in these tins. So we tried a kilo in this, and as you can see by the pictures, it turned out to be enormous. Tip number two for keeping bread fresh. One tip for storing bread and keeping it fresh is keep it in a dark place. We actually keep ours in our microwave. However, when we've got hot weather, you need to open the door of your microwave so some air can circulate in it. If you're wanting to find out how to make our white bread and bread rolls, bacon and cheese or salami and cabana, then check out our full video this Sunday where we go through step by step on how to make white bread, tips on how to stop burning besides forgetting to start a timer, and how to make a flat top loaf. It is absolutely delicious. And now back to the rest of Walgood. If you love murals in the country towns, check out the alleyways and this one take a close look at the eyes the captivating painting offers a unique perspective of the countryside as you can see through the curious and vibrant eyes of an emu just a quick tip here if you do a lot of off-grip camping or whether you just go from place to place it doesn't really matter we actually fill up with water where we know there's water so if we're in a town that we know that the information center has got good quality water or the local service station will allow you to fill up or a park or something like that, then we'll fill up there. We don't wait until we get to another destination where we don't know to see if there's any water. Also, we'll get rid of our rubbish at these campsites if there's been supplied, and if not, we will find somewhere appropriate to on the way. And one last thing, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so, it does help the channel so we can create better content. Hope you like this video, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Next week, take off your bra, slow down, Grab yourself a beer as we head 50 miles northwest of Walgett to Grawen in New South Wales, where we free camp at the Club in the Scrub, check out the sights, and eat at the world famous Glengarry Hilton. You would take my breath and I can't get it back. Might be time for me to face the facts. The best me is with you, but.